Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's session. My name is Andrew Coyle, and I am a sales engineer at Area One Security. Area One's mission is to stop targeted phishing attacks across all vectors. Over the next couple minutes, we're going to go over how Area One can stop these targeted phishing attacks across the email vector specifically. I'm going to walk you through an overview of Area One's email protection offering as it relates to customers that are running or are planning on running in the future Office 365 or Google and how we can stop these attackers from phishing your inbox for good. So if we, if we jump right in, targeted phishing is the number one cyber attack vector worldwide. Phishing is responsible for almost every single major breach that we have all heard about. And some of the breaches that we haven't heard about yet, some of the breaches that haven't hit the news yet. Very high profile breaches from the past several years have also started from a phishing attack. These are attacks that range from the Sony hack to the French national elections or the DNC hack and even the target breach. All of these started with a phishing attack. And we can see the statistics here on the screen. 95% of breaches begin with a targeted phishing attack. Phishing is also the delivery mechanism for the top threats that we as an industry are experiencing today. So these include ransomware. These include socially engineered attacks like financial loss for business email compromise or imposter attacks where somebody is spoofing a, an executive at a company potentially. As, as well as malware attachments, malicious attachments, or links to these phishing sites, links to these credential harvesters. The majority of the time, these threats are introduced into an organization through phishing. We can also see that despite all of the defenses that organizations are putting in place today, these attacks are still getting through and are still very successful. So as an example, during tax season, phishing attacks that were seeking W-2 information were very, very popular. The victim is trusting the sender in this case, which is the root cause of the attack. There's this element of, of human trust that is causing these attacks to ultimately be successful. There were news articles that reported that these attacks hit a variety of organizations of differing sizes and, and in different verticals, in different industries. This attack did not target one industry in particular. Some examples of, of phishing attacks that, that are more recent in recent memory, um, and these attacks have also bypassed existing defenses, are the Google OAuth phish that occurred in, that occurred in early May of 2017 or the DocuSign fish from mid-May, uh, you know, a couple weeks after. Both of these use trusted brands into luring their victims into downloading malware or providing their credentials. Even attacks that aim to deliver a credential harvesting site, where the victims put in their login information for popular platforms like Google and Yahoo, we have seen those types of attacks be very successful. For example, you know, a popular one here is the DNC hack with John Podesta. That all started with a Google credential harvesting fish. So here is where Area 1's email protection comes in. We offer a cloud-based MTA that will continuously scan inbound email and will identify these targeted phishing messages. Our solution is simply a verdict engine which means that we are going to sit in your email flow and we are going to scan all of your emails. We will then return a verdict by assigning it just a tag, which is an X header, and we will assign this tag to the message and then send that message on downstream. We integrate directly and seamlessly with Google and Office 365 to apply the policy based upon our verdict or based upon our X header. The onboarding is incredibly straightforward, and it takes minutes, not hours, to complete. And once deployed, Area 1 complements the anti-spam and the antivirus capabilities that exist within your existing cloud email platforms. So the cloud email solutions like Google and Office 365 have been optimized for spam filtering. These email services have native security measures that are built in or that are in place, and they are very effective at malware detection and spam filtering. 
But what they're looking for is majority of the high volume and commodity based threats. When area one comes in, we are searching for a needle in a pile of needles in a pile of haystacks. We are looking for the low volume attacks, but these are the very malicious and the very dangerous attacks. And what we're doing is we're augmenting your current email solution to stop these targeted attacks. Now when you couple Area 1 security with either Google or Office 365, there's no need for a secure email gateway. Area 1 plus Google or Area 1 plus Office 365 provides you with a complete email security solution. So many security companies out there are waiting for somebody to be breached or they are waiting for an attack to occur and then they write a signature to, to detect that t attack or to block that attack. We take a different approach in that we aren't waiting for you to be attacked. We have built a solution that goes out and proactively will hunt for threats. We have a high speed web crawler that scans the entire internet and touches every single web page looking for malicious content. We have a crawler that goes out there and looks into where this infrastructure is being stood up. Where are these watering holes located? Where are these malicious websites currently located? And where are they being stood up? And when we crawl the web, we crawl in a way that we act as a human. These sophisticated web pages and attacks may render differently when they are crawled by a robot. So what we do is we then deconstruct the message as it arrives at our MTA to understand the who, what, where, when, and how of the message. We then use this information from the crawler and we look for specific patterns within the message itself. This is what gives us the accuracy and the ability to get ahead of these attacks. So just as an example, when we're looking at the who, we're looking for spoof senders or business email compromise type, type attacks. When we're looking at the what, we're looking for ransomware. We're looking for malicious attachments. We are analyzing the links within the body of the email, and we're analyzing links within the attachments themselves. We're looking at where is it being sent from. We're looking at the IP address that's sending the message. We're looking for look-alike domain names. We're looking at the when. When we look at the when, we're looking for new domains. When was this domain registered? Was this domain just registered and did it immediately start sending email? And we're looking at the how. So how was this message sent? Was it sent through relayed infrastructure or was it sent directly? All of these different components run through our algorithms and are compared with our information and ultimately that will determine our, our final verdict. So looking into some specific types of attacks that we prevent, we understand the fact that attackers want to earn the trust of their victims. This means that these actors want to spoof common logos, for example, or maybe they want to spoof an executive to leverage that relationship that the victim may have with that spoofed executive. In the case of business email compromise, this is a form of social engineering attack and many times these emails may not contain any attachments or any links. A great example of this is somebody pretending to be the CEO, sending a message into someone from the finance department asking for money to be wired somewhere. Or somebody spoofing the CEO, sending a message into the HR department asking for personnel records. And we have seen large corporations that have been breached because of these types of attacks. So we're also doing work within the computer vision space to detect phishing attacks. The work we are doing captures a lot of the tricks that users fall for and these traditional methods don't detect. So in this example that you see on the screen, we have an image that is pretending to be a PDF attachment. Users are used to receiving emails with attachments that look very similar to what you see on the screen. So in many cases, this user is just doing his or her job when they click on the image, which would then perform its, its malicious action. So we have the ability to detect images that are masquerading as attachments. We can also use our computer vision technology to scan email for top fish brands to understand if an attacker is trying to leverage that trust between the victim and the brand. 
when an email arrives that is using a brand's logo, we can determine if it is coming, if that email is coming from the brand sending, do sending domain. Now, our, our deployment is incredibly easy and straightforward to set up. We, we can sit as an MX record, which means that we will take first delivery of your message. As the message arrives at our MTA, we will deconstruct that message and perform all of our analysis on the, on the message itself, looking for those patterns related to phishing. If we detect that the message is malicious, all we are going to do is set an X header on that message, so set that tag. We will then deliver the message on to your current cloud email solution, and we can apply the policy on your existing cloud email solution. So if you as an organization determine that your policy is to send all, all malicious messages to the junk folder or to drop all malicious messages, we have the ability, you, leveraging your current admin console on Google or Office 365, we have the ability to set a policy that will drop or quarantine or send to the junk folder, however your organization wants to handle those types of messages. What this means is there's no FTE needed, there's no engineer that's needed uh, dedicated to our system, and we are not creating another quarantine folder that, that you now have to, have to manage. We also provide flexibility to optionally configure markups to the email itself. So you have the ability to add a custom X header or to add a subject line prefix to warn the user of the content of the message before the user even opens up the message. We can add a body prefix to the message if you'd like. This could be used to warn the user of the malicious content within the message itself. Or it could be used to maybe instruct the user to contact the help desk or to provide instructions on how to properly remove the, the message from the inbox. We also provide URL defang and rewrite capabilities. Defanging will prevent the user from accidentally clicking on the, the link within the message, while URL rewrite will protect the user from the time of the click, regardless of where that click occurs, regardless of the device or the location where that click occurs. We offer real-time reporting and alerting. For customers that are using collaboration tools like Slack or HipChat, we can configure a webhook for our alerts. For example, if you're, if you're using Slack, we have the ability to post all of our alerts in real time into a channel of your choosing. This means that you can have your email team or your security team monitor this channel and get real time updates about the phishing attacks that we are detecting. Our portal also provides statistics around the number of malicious messages that we have detected. So this is going to be high level statistics around the number of emails you've received and which percentage are, are malicious. But we also have information around the top recipients of fish, the top senders of fish into your environment, as well as metadata around the messages that we have detected. So this is going to include uh, IP addresses, this is going to include subject lines, senders, recipients, the detection that was made, all of that metadata is included within the portal itself. In, in terms of privacy, we perform all of our scanning in memory, and emails that do not trigger any of our detections are going to be passed through to your end solution, and no copies are stored. We have a fully secured cloud architecture that is built on hardened and ISO and SOC certified cloud platforms. So today we are leveraging Google Cloud Platform as well as Amazon Web Services. And we are using the public cloud how it was intended to be used with its nearly infinite computing power. This allows us to auto scale as necessary. As we turn up more customers or as we start receiving more email, we have the ability to auto scale this also provides us with seamless failover. We are geographically dispersed across multiple zones, and we are architected in such a way with a high level of redundancy. So we are very preemptive in the way that we collect our information, which allows us to discover attacks before they are launched. 
and gives our customers that time advantage before the attack occurs. We can be transparently inserted into your email flow, and the deployment and onboarding is very easy and very simple to set up. Thank you for viewing this webinar. Please go to the following link to learn more about our email protection solution and to sign up for a 15-day free trial. Thank you.